Folks, this might be one of the biggest opportunities of our lifetime if things work out. And I got the charts I wanted to show you on these plays. Folks, there is so much money being made. The question is, how good could it get? Are we going to have that massive rug pull? I saw some of the warnings in the last video. There is a lot to uncover here, but one thing stays for certain. Money is being made. And the question is, when will it stop? And we're going to get into it. But folks, hit that like button. Let's get this thing over a thousand likes right now. If you like, uh, well, let's, we'll go with the weather because I've seen half of the Northeast are snowed out. Let me know where you're from. And of course, what, what crypto are you looking at right now? We got a lot to do. And update on the brand new options course. It's going live tomorrow. It's official. Tomorrow is the day. We will be rolling it out in the morning video. You will have the link. We will have everything you need to know. The masterclass on options will be rolling out. And we are pumped for this. This thing is next level by far something you're going to want to be a part of. Now, woo, if you haven't done it, join the Discord today. Get in there today. First link in the description down below. Once you get there, click Get Access. If you click that, put in code TURKEY. It's not just what's for dinner, and you will save 20% on the tier you choose. It's up to you if you do the monthly, if you do the annual, or the lifetime. I do recommend the lifetime. While the code is still active, it's going to expire soon. Now, let's talk. Let's talk. Hopefully, you're making a lot of money. And this video is going to talk about and continue to talk about the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that I believe is here. This is it. I've been bringing this to you since pre-election. We talked about it. I did it so many times. I had so many people say, no, no way, no way. There's not. It's not going to happen, Mo. It's not going to go through the roof. If uh, Trump wins, it'll be like a sell the news event. And crypto is going to crash down. Watch and see. Watch and see. So I loaded up on it. I put my money where my mouth is. And right now, folks, my pockets are heavy. And it's heavy with profit. And I hope you are, too. I hope you kind of did your due diligence. I never tell people what to buy and sell. I tell you what I'm doing. And what I did was load the boat with crypto, and it ran. And I had another monster win on my hands. Now, I've been moving money around. I had somebody, somebody asked in the last video, did you sell all your ETH mini? No. No, 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 no. Tons of ETH mini. We're talking in the hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of ETH mini. So I also moved money into Coinbase to get all other altcoins and to stake Ethereum. I've been doing all kinds of shuffling. I want that. Uh, some of my ETH money is long term. So I don't want it in there anymore. I want to take advantage of the staking. I want the rewards. Now, if they ever switch back to having staking allowed in the spot ETS, which I think will happen in 2025, then that I'll, I'll reconsider and we'll we'll make moves. I like it in like Grayscale and some of these other ones. So, but until then, I want to start doing a little bit more aggressive, aggressive crypto buying. And I got a, a bunch of sh a charts to show you. So just understand for those, hey, I, I read somebody said, no, he sold all his ETH mini. No, I didn't. I have tons of it. I sold some and I moved some around because I made a boatload of money on it. Like, you know, it, it's crazy. And I hope you are too. For those who have been following me from day one, we've had, we had a great run. It wasn't the best run. No, but it also wasn't the highest risk. And so it's always up to each person what you're comfortable with when it comes to risk management. That's the one thing. Don't ever feel like, oh, hey, I just I just bought this this coin called Orange Lemon Tree Coin or whatever. And it went up a uh, thousand percent and you were in ETH. Yeah, okay. So for some of these plays you're going to hear from your buddies down the street and the guys down at the bar telling you about whatever they bought, understand that there's risk reward with everything. And I like being with the big dogs, the big dogs for where I'm at in life. They're exactly what I like. They, they give me the run. They, they, they give me the security. And the risk is okay. Crypto is a risky asset to begin with. So it's up to each person. Now, with all the profits I have made on my Ethereum plays through the years, I have moved a, a big chunk of money over into some altcoins. Get ready for that altcoin season. So we're going to see how this thing plays out. I can tell you this right now. The moves I've already made are already doing very well. 
And so I'm extremely happy. But I woke up to a pleasant little sign today, and that's where we're we're gonna start uh, looking at some of the charts. Uh, I should I should say when I woke up, I saw this. This is a beauty. When you get up and you see, whoa, what do we got here? 3,400. What happened? And then I looked at the chart. I said, I'm gonna let here. I said, here's my chart. I said, this is what I'm expecting and when, plus or minus a day. And take a look, folks. Say what you want about the people who are reactive on YouTube. And there is a ton of reactive YouTubers. I am a proactive. The difference between me and a lot of other people is that I actually come out here and tell you what I think will happen before it does in visuals, and I let you see it. And no, I'm not right a million times out of a million times. But the truth of the matter is my research is, I would say, the best out there. And with that being said, this was part of that research. And I, I drew it and I showed you it. I based it on technical history. I based it on the fundamentals behind the theorem, everything. And I put it out there a long time ago. And now look where we're at. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And boom. So I was a day early one day early for this to do exactly what I've been telling you. And I told you I expected it to break right here, to break that candle, 34.47. Well, it broke here, but I want to see the candle stay above there. And that's what that means. That's the candle closes above there. That's what I'm looking for by the middle of next of this week. Will it happen? Well, that's what, I, that's what all my research says is going to happen. And so far, so good. And I know there's a lot of you out there that's riding with me on this play. And we're loving it, all right? Not everything's running up. And we can go back and take a look at Bitcoin. And there's a lot of things we're going to talk about in this video. Uh, as you can see, Bitcoin right there at that top, kind of consolidating. Will that keep running up to the 100,000? It's not if. We know it's going to. It's the question is, is that a sell the news event? My, my opinion is, I don't think it will be, but I'm not going to be surprised. There's so much leveraging going on. I've been reading about the leveraging, tons and tons of leveraging. People are loaded to the gills with leveraging. So I'm a little nervous about that, and I, I want to talk a little bit about this, all right? Um, I did tell you in the last video, I talked about one of the big altcoins I like. A little red today, had a big pop green. You always know it's going to come back down afterwards. This is one of the ones I like. All right, I like Avalanche. People are, what else? I like Cardano, all right? Somebody said, what about XRP? I like XRP, all right? Just throwing them out there. Now, I like the US-based cryptos because the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, we know what it's gonna be. The, the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, what is it? What's going on? Well, it's Trump going ahead and making and allowing US-based crypto to be tax-free for capital gains. Are you kidding me? Could that happen? I think it could happen. We're, we're going to find out real quick. A lot of the things they want to do, they want to have done before the end of 2026. I'm excited to see where this goes. And what about this whole thing about a crypto czar? Man, everything I'm seeing is pointing to an absolutely... Not just, hey, they're okay, uh, Senate, Congress, House, all of, it is pro-crypto to the gills, which it needs to be. This, this next 24 months, I don't know if it can get any friendlier for crypto than it is over the next 24 months. So when it comes to opportunities, how much money can be made, and you look at it on a scale of lifetime opportunities in terms of crypto, I've been in this industry for, it seems like forever. And I remember back in the day. I remember investing. I remember start. I remember doing Dogecoin and mining it. A couple hundred thousand Dogecoin a day in my basement. Which, oh goodness, how much would that be worth? Just to give you an idea of my biggest regret. And always people always say, biggest regret, blah, blah, blah. Here it is. I had Dogecoin. And what are we at now? 42 cents a piece. I was mining over 200,000 roughly. It was 100 to 200,000 daily. It was, I think we had a couple days at 200,000. Just say 200,000. And that is worth right there 42 cents a piece times 200,000. That's $84,000 a day I was making in my basement with mining machines. I still have. 
You can't do that anymore. But back then on day one, you could. Day seven, you could. Day 30, you could. But I can't anymore. All right? And then, of course, we all know the, the, the sad ending to that story. I got robbed, uh, literally. And the guy's in prison forever. Never got my crypto back. It's all gone. All right? I, I, I picked myself up. I wiped myself off, and I looked in the mirror and said, let's go. Next, next, next step up, man. Let's just keep moving forward, man. Don't look in the back. Don't sit there and wonder what could have been, what should have been. I, I moved on. That's the mentality of winning, and that's what I want you guys to do. I want you to know that no matter what is behind all of us, the future is bright. We're going to stumble more. We're going to have people get in our way. But at the end of the day, we got to keep moving forward. We got to keep doing what we need to do. Maybe it's working a little overtime. Maybe, oh, I don't know, being a little bit more active with our investing. Maybe it's reevaluating the risk. Maybe you're only buying the worst of the worst of the worst investments because you keep thinking this is it. Maybe we need to reevaluate that. But at the end of the day, I do believe that this could be one of the biggest opportunities in our lifetime. And it's not going to go without... Oh, I'm talking stomach churning sell offs. I think that's coming. I don't think it's going to be take that long. Uh, could be by the end of this year or right in the beginning. So I'll tell you this by the end of Q1, you are going to see a nasty 20% pullback, is my guess, roughly 15 to 20% pullback from wherever, just say Bitcoin hits 100K. My estimate is whenever it has this pullback, whenever that is, uh, maybe it goes to 125 before it has it. Whenever that is, you're going to see a 15 to 20% pullback. So if it hits 100K and has it, it's going to drop 15 to 20,000 back to 85 to 80,000. If it gets to 120, all right, you're going to see that 15 to 20% of that pull back. All right, so 18,000 to 24,000 off that price. Uh, and that, that's a normal correction slash deleveraging, shaking a tree, getting rid of those loose leaves. And that's healthy. And then, and, and this is where the once in a lifetime is going to come. For those who timed it right, which I got to be blunt, it's going to be next to impossible for the vast majority, 99% of the people out there to time this right, including myself. I, I, you know, you're swinging, you're swinging with your eyes closed when it comes to trying to time the top. You're hoping to hit it. Uh, but here's something I can say. I do believe that once we hit a bottom, and you can watch the technicals on the 50 to 61.8% retracement plus the 50 EMA and that stuff, or you can just watch my channel. Hit the like, hit the subscribe down below. You want more information, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Let's get this to 1,000 likes. But here's the deal. If, if you're patient and you allow it to bottom out, we don't try to catch the falling knife. Wherever it hits the bottom, we, we should have a, a decent idea. But once again, next to impossible to know where it bottoms out. Uh, I've seen it where it never stopped until it hit 87 to 90% down, and that can happen again. That's even for Ethereum and Bitcoin. So what I believe is going to happen is it's not going to drop 80 to 90%. This is one of the most bullish setups in the history of Bitcoin and Ethereum and a lot of different altcoins. So if you buy at that point, when the deleveraging is over, the massive profit taking is done, and it's kind of everybody, it's in, it's in fear and extreme fear on the charts, that's when you're going to have one of the best opportunities for a long-term, long-term hold where you just love in life, where it does move past 120. It gets up to 150 for Bitcoin, 200,000, 250,000. And you're like, what's going on? It's because it's right. It, it, it got the FOMO out, and now it can grow the right way. Same thing with Ethereum. There are some ETFs out there. People are looking to get okay. I think that happens in 2025 combination of Bitcoin, Ethereum, some altcoins. There's all kinds of them working. And I'm telling you, the more exposure we get for those saying, oh, Ethereum this, Ethereum that, it's a big part of it. Bitcoin's the biggest part, Ethereum's the next, and then a bunch of little altcoins. This is really the big two running the show. And it's the big boy and its little brother. Obviously, Bitcoin, it's changed dramatically over the last 12 months in terms of everything I'm seeing in terms of uh, uh, reserve assets. All this talk was never there, and now it is, and that's a game changer. And so there's some things that absolutely is leading to once-in-a-lifetime opportunities. With, but 
but not without peril. Folks, we could see, once again, 15 to 20% pullback quick, and it's not going to be a, a, over a month's period. It's going to be a couple of days, maybe a day. And for those who have been through a ride like that, that's rough. Uh, so be careful. Do what you need to do in terms of protection. Uh, you know, find the, the equivalent of a put option for whatever you're in. Uh, yeah, just be careful. But, man, I am pumped. A lot of money to be made. Like I said, let me know what crypto you think is going to be the best investment to make down below in the comments. And hit that like. Let's get this thing over 1,000. Uh, more importantly, Code Turkey is expiring shortly. You only got a little bit of time left. Join. Get into the Discord now. We had some major winners in there. I loved it. I love seeing it. We've been cashing in. My portfolio was at an all-time high. You get to see some of my plays. You get to see the options. You get thousands of people in there sharing their wisdom. Uh, the learning the learning library, the private live streams, the AI bot plays. Man, there is so much going on. And so if you're ready to take it to the next level, you don't have to do this by yourself anymore. Get in there. Get yourself a gift you want. All right, right there, Code Turkey. Second link, Moo Moo. Uh, if you haven't done that, click that link, get in here. This is going to give you, as it pops up, 20 free stocks, but you have to use my link. If you don't use my link, you only get 15. So you get eight free stocks using my link for depositing 100 bucks or more. Put 1,000 or more and you get all 20 and an 8.1% APY on uninvested cash up to 20K. And this expires November 30th. So you want to get in there. All right, family, that's it. I'm pumped. This is once in a lifetime, in my opinion. We're going to see. All right, that's all I got for you. I'll see you in the Discord.